Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I got another little goodie to share with you in regards to the greatest, or what could be the greatest Titanic model ever made. The 1200 Trumpeter Titanic model kit. I had showed you this review. I've also showed you the bulkheads that can go inside the aftermarket. I showed you the, let's see, the um, detail set. And I got another little thing to show you that I thought was really cool. <clears throat> this actually is for the first class private promenade deck for the promenade suite. And that would be, let's see, right about, right about there. And using the model, it would be right about there. It would be underneath the um, first funnel and it would be forward on the ship near the forward deck well. And this is actually, you know, because pictures of the Titanic private suite and the promenade decks are just absolutely gorgeous. And what this does is it brings to life the, um, the wood, the woodwork. And I'll put up pictures of what it's going to look like and what it should look like. And it's from Titanic Magnificent. I guess that's the... The company that's producing this and what this is is actual wood and it's the 1200 scale for the Titanic private promenade kit you can see what uh, it looks like <clears throat> there is some preparation to the kit it says you need to remove the door but the um, the removal of the plastic is minimal and it's totally worth it to have it end up looking like looking like that. Because, you know, to do this on a model this small, this is a 1550 scale, um, it probably wouldn't be worth it because, you know, you try to look in those windows and you can't see. But the 1200 scale, you think, is going to be large enough where if you've got a good camera, you can zoom right in and you'll be able to see that. So let me go over the instructions with you and I'll put them up. For you to check out the 1200 scale private promenade kit <clears throat> you can see the sections that come with it you got a section for the port and a section for the starboard you need to remove a door of course that's for both sides you will need to remove doors from the kit sand smooth weed out all inner cuts be extremely careful with drawers. Use a blade to do this. Leave backing on until you are ready to place the part. Use pictures for reference on the next page. The first step, place part S1 and P1, port and starboard, I'm assuming, to model part numbers B15 and B16. And I'll put pictures up of the those parts. This must be done first. Place S2 and P2 to the wall facing aft but against part 1. Make sure part 1 and part 2 are flush with the bottom of the parts, B15 and B16. Place S3 and P3 to evergreen plastic as follows and repeat for both sides of the kit. So these are the inner walls. Edge of S3 must be at the top of S4. Glue assembled pieces to B15 and B16. So you can see that would be these for the small inner walls, plastic rectangles. <clears throat> Going on to the next page, you should have small white strip of evergreen showing on both sides for both completed picks. You can see the, it's gonna look nice. I was, and this is really, this, I got this off of eBay for $10. And I think, and it was free shipping, and I think for ten dollars, uh, you can't beat this. This is, this is really cool. Why wouldn't you do this? Anything to enhance that model. <clears throat> so you got the pictures of what it should look like on the evergreen pieces. You will need to remove a section. 
the width for your LED light strip outline. It shows you the area. You may also have to adjust the length of your light strip so that the light diodes do not touch or interfere with the wall. Failure to check this may result in poor fitment of deck and deck R1, assembled promenade. So, depending on what light kit you're going to be using. See, the light kit that I have, I have the Magic series. Um, I won't be using the light kit, the LED kit that came with the model kit. But still, um, I will work it in where I can put these in and it won't interfere with the lighting. Because these pictures just look grand. <clears throat> So you can see step one, step two, you add the wall, and step three, you add both walls in, and you've got the private promenade suite. And this is the completed set. So, to give you an idea of how beautiful the promenade suites are, let me see if I can actually show you pictures of them. So trying to find pictures of the actual first class promenade suite, the enclosed. Um, I've got Legacy of the World's Greatest Ocean Liner, Titanic by Susan Wells. And trying to look for pictures on the inside. Um, I don't see any for the promenade itself. There are different absolutely gorgeous photographs in this book gymnasium <clears throat> and you can see state rooms but for the actual first class private promenade suite it doesn't um, I don't see any pictures of it I mean, this ship was absolutely spectacular. Absolutely gorgeous. Can you imagine what it would have been like to have a, a first class private promenade? And like I said, it would be right about there where they'd start anyway. And um, just below the boat deck. <clears throat> so. This is my, my big time go-to reference when it comes to my Titanic information. Titanic and Illustrated History um, with the paintings by Ken Marshall. I mean, I think he's the most fantastic artist whoever could do the, the uh, painting of the Titanic. And of course, Dr. Ballard had a lot of input in this book as well. And this is one of my most absolute favorite pictures of the ship. You can see someone snapped a picture looking down from Southampton. And you can see the, the promenade decks. And that would go all the way to right about, right about there is where the, um, the first class private promenade deck would be. But I love that picture. Look at the detail. Look at all the rivets. It took three million rivets to build the Titanic. And this is my all-time favorite photo of the Titanic. When she's leaving Southampton, I love this picture. And then it shows the random pictures, the gymnasium. Um, but the same thing with this. I don't see any actual photographs of the... Um, the actual private promenade suite. I know, guys, I'm getting off subject right now. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm going to look online to see if I can find photographs of the actual suite. Um, and you know it could be fake. So I got to be, just remember, guys, the pictures that I do to put up will take with a grain of salt. But anyway, <clears throat> those are the directions. And let me show you the actual pieces themselves. Um, the evergreen plastic 
piece is just gonna be the walls that'll form. And they labeled the envelopes, the starboard side, as well as the port side. And you can see that this is actually made of wood. The inner walls. Is the starboard side just gorgeous this is a really good idea and the inner walls so oh and um, one other thing when I got this like I said I got this off of eBay and it was only $9.99 with free shipping so again why wouldn't you do this Look for the Titanic Magnificent. Um, this is the envelope it came in. And when I got the package in, I actually looked. And when I had found my receipt, they actually gave me a clip of film. And this is really awesome. This is from Jane Cameron's classic Titanic from 1997. And at the very end... I don't want to give any spoilers away, but at the very end of the movie, Rose does pass, and she goes back, her spirit goes back to Titanic, under the surface of the water. And this is when she's greeted, they open the doors for her, and she walks in to the grand staircase, and everybody that passed was there waiting for her. And I don't know if you'll be able to see Jack. He's at the top of the staircase in front of the clock and he's waiting to meet her. And I love the movie because I just, the, the effects of the, I've never seen a movie depict the Titanic better than this movie. And I thought this was really awesome. This is a little bonus. I mean, it, not, it doesn't mean you're gonna get one for sure if you order this, but I ended up getting that with mine and I couldn't be happier. Again, this is from Titanic Magnificent. And it's the first class promenade deck or suite. And this is for your trumpeter 1200 scale RMS Titanic. And this is a little short video just to show you another little goodie you can use to bring out this magnificent model. So, until my next little goodie for the 1200 Titanic. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.